I get this unique question quite oftentimes, especially from people who are just now dipping their toes into paganism and heathenry. It's how do we find our deity? How do we establish that connection? And how do we know if it's being answered? And it's a really tricky question, right? Because you're going, you could ask this question to a million different practitioners and you'll get a million different answers. This is very much like a one-way relationship sometimes. But here's my answer and here's my experience. I grew up in a very rural southern town in complete noise isolation. And I always felt at peace in that. And now that I live up here in a super suburban city environment, it's loud. We're constantly bombarded with noise. Uh, we always have music. There's always jet engines. There's cars. There's yelling. There's there's always noise. And every once in a while, you can go out into nature and quiet your mind down. In ancient practice, there was the meditation known as Utsetra, literally meaning to go sit outside, just to do nothing. You branch out with your mind. Uh, you feel the earth beneath your feet. You, you branch out as the branches of Yggdrasil, as the roots of Yggdrasil. You, you dive deep into the past and you expand outwards into the present. And when you can do that and truly open up your mind and be ready for communication and to just put your phone on the line, if you will, you know, you have to say, I'm actually ready to converse. I'm no longer closed. I'm, I'm open up to receive whatever might be received, good or bad. And somebody might not answer or somebody might. And that feeling of somebody actually answering is an experience I've had multiple times. And it is such a powerful connection, such an amazing feeling, especially when it's something you weren't quite expecting from a deity you weren't expecting, such as Odin. But I've had the connections with hell, where I was having dreams about dead ancestors, uh, dead relatives, and dying grass and rich soil, and I was having these dreams and having this presence feeling, and I looked into it and realized what it was. And since then, I've considered hell to be kind of special to me. And I reach out to her every now and then. Now, how do we choose our deity is where I have the sticking point. Because we don't ultimately get to decide the deity, right? Now, we can say, hey, I would actually like to be friends with this god. Yeah, very much. I, I admire the qualities. I admire the traits they're attributed to. I want to establish a connection with them. And if they pick up the phone, so to speak, if they like you in return, sure, try to establish a friendship, offer gifts, talk with them, share with them. Don't ask anything too big, you know? We're very muchly taught about the gift for a gift and that a path to a friend's house, to a, to a beloved friend's house, no matter how far or full with brambles, it's very clear. Right? Because we want to get to that friend's house. We, we are eager to speak with them. If the gods were your best friends, you would pick up the phone. You would call them every day. You wouldn't give them gifts all the time. You wouldn't just bombard them. You wouldn't just pick up your phone whenever you need something. Right? You wouldn't just call and be like, hey, you know, Thor, I, I need this. I need this. I need this. I need this. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Now, every once in a while, they're definitely going to understand. But if you are seeking out to be a friend just to be friends... You might be surprised at who's going to end up picking up that phone, who needs friends also, who who are actually stoked to get to know you because you're demonstrating something very brave. You are taking the time. Live an honorable life first. You always seek to live an honorable life, to be a good person, you know, to live by a very good, strong moral foundation. Tell the truth. Help out people. See the good in the community all around us. No matter what our religious faith is. You can see the gods in people just down the street, in the old man down at the road who has ancient wisdom to share. He is very much the embodiment of Odin at that moment. You know, the the, the mother taking care of her child is, is very showing Frey, the or Freya, the soldier, the, the police officers, the security guards, whatever, showing tear. And 
I know it sounds like a stretch, but you can see that, right? You can see those attributes of all the gods in our local community. Show our heath, right? We're heathens. Show our heath. Show our community that they matter. And when you start doing that, when you start projecting that energy out, I really feel like it's going to end up coming back to you. I feel like once you pick up that port, once you pick up that phone and you say it's available for communication, I'm out here, quiet down your mind and be receptive of the messages you're fixing to receive. It might take some time. It might take no time at all. They might be waiting right now for you to just shut the fuck up long enough to listen. And if you're here, if you're on this channel and and you're seeking wisdom, if you're seeking something, if you're just seeking uh, anybody, a guy sitting in his truck talking on the phone, um, then you're curious. And that curiosity is oftentimes a calling. We've seen so many times from people say, you know, I've just always had this fascination with it. I've always had this co- this curiosity about the old ways, about, about the old gods, about my ancestry or this or this or this. And what it boils down to is they felt a pulling. They felt a pulling and Eventually, eventually, if they're brave enough, that pulling leads them to search for wisdom. And if you can search for wisdom, and then you search to establish that relationship, establish that connection, I really feel like you're going to find something. You'll find something here that you haven't found somewhere else. At least I haven't. I haven't found it anywhere else. I've never had a deity reach out to me like I have here. And when you can feel that presence, when you can feel that calling, when you can feel that response, it's powerful. It it, it sucks you in. It keeps you coming back and it keeps you wanting to learn more. As always, stay true to your path. Reach out with any questions. I'm proud of all of you.